Hello Polygoners, I am Shaft, you are watching a Polygon production, we've got an exciting ZVZ for you today, between two really, really high profile, strong Grandmaster Zergs. This is going to be the latest patch for you guys, assuming that I get this out with uh, some decent production. We've got a little bit of aggression started already by the player in the top left hand side of Ascension to Ire in the red trunks playing for Root Gaming. He is Nero. And as you can see, he's got some lings kind of swarming towards this third base location. Instead of aggression, he is going to be taking a very fast third, third before three minutes. His opponent in the bottom right hand side is a player known for going for some very either aggressive play or delaying his gas in order to be super economic as well. It's game time playing for Sloth Gaming. Now he does have his own lings over here and as you can see he's been poking in. Four lings have been lost for Nero and this is actually a great position here for game time as he is uh, bruising this third base which again was pretty greedy. He has taken his own third base behind this and oh my god is he going to force Nero to have to cancel this yes indeed he does he does have a much faster link speed as well and with this third base being reset and some Bane Leagues morphing here as well what he wants to do is to force Nero uh, to basically a weaker economic position now both players are going to be going for Bane Leagues, but we've got Bane Leagues morphing here as well so both players have a little bit of offensive potential as well as a uh, defensive potential now lings being slowly ran in here oh and these Bane Leagues actually forcing Nero to uh, cancel this I don't know if that was exactly what he wanted to do but we've got the lings swinging in over here for game time and game time's got a lot more lings not to mention Bane Leagues here but the Bane Leagues do connect with some of those lings some uh, lings trying to be pulled off here but very good Bane Ling control by game time and as you can see game time going to be running ahead of Nero's links and looks like he's going to force Nero into a more a defensive position chasing him all the way home now while this has happened there was a little bit of harassment here not too much done Bane Ling's getting cleaned up as a uh, Oh, some really good hits here of by game time on these banelings, but one baneling does manage to survive. A couple of banelings actually being morphed in here by game time himself, and as you can see, the skirmish starting to uh, favor game time as he is the only one with banelings left on the field. Two more banelings have completed for game time. Two in production for. Nero and Nero actually keeping uh, one of those alive, not both of them, and that's not quite enough to take out the Banelings here for game time as we slowly see game time taking a lot of uh, a lot of his opponent's side of the map, and as he wedges himself into this location, some Lings are going to be flooding in over here, and this will allow him to do some pressure to this third base as well. The Banelings are going to try to get here into the drone line, but actually going to be wasted on that Queen, as the real attack is here at the third. Nero does know that. The mind games between these two players, and as you can see, uh, some Lings being flooded here into the main uh, by Nero of game time, and this should do a little bit of damage. He is going to try and wrap around here to the back of this Queen, but no avail. Looks like the drone's going to be pulled off here will not get that queen no real damage done there these players hitting in so many locations this is the insanity of baneling micro man these two players are definitely atop their game neither of them hitting that 30 drone count just yet and uh quite a bit of lost resources on either side oh really nice baneling hit there by game time Nero trying to swing here into this third base location as well as uh, get some Bane Lings into here. Neither player, uh, oh, pulling two Lings off to that Northern location, trying to pull his opponent off here and get this Queen kill, but nope, going to be forced not to engage there because there are Lings that have been pulled off in it. Again, these guys are so aggressive, so aggressive, pulling the drones off here. Looks like we got a Queen kill there. Game time, still not getting too many drone kills throughout all of this and neither player transitioning into any kind of roach technology just yet i mean we do have the roach warren on the field but just not able to pull it out yet and there we go 
First player to go under Roaches is going to be game time. We'll see if he can turn that into some kind of offensive attack or if he'll be able to secure his third base location. At this point, game time is the player with almost 40 drones. His opponent just sitting on 30. That is definitely a huge advantage if he can maintain it. And at this point, Nero is going to be the first player to, um, or the second player rather, to start that Roach Warren. And he is also the player that is behind on workers. He's got to be very careful at this point because he does see that there is a huge Roach attack coming towards him. He thought he was probably going to be the uh, player with Roaches first. He's also droning up a little bit, as you can see, just now taking the Roach or the, uh, the drone lead, but the roaches are going to be swinging in, and he is about 40 supply behind his opponent right now. Nero uh, trying to harass his opponent's third base location, but just not going to be enough to really do too much damage here. And the, with the roaches swinging in here, we will see. Oh, yeah. Nero does know that that base... Is going to be sacrificed he just does not have enough army supply nor the production once his third base falls to get the army back up that he would need so game time actually going to be able to take a strong victory there now i think some of you guys may be wondering what is it exactly that allowed um game time to take that victory like on paper I think a lot of people would think Nero kind of the better player, especially mentally here. So let's let's look at it here. Nero was forced into canceling that third base. Game time secured a much stronger economy behind that. Neither player actually tried to transition into layer tech, and I think that was smart. But I think with game time transitioning to roaches sooner, he was actually able to use a lot more of his larva. For drones that also allowed him to get that third base droned up so I think a lot of it spiraled off off of resetting Nero's third base and then a lot of it came down to just insane Ling and Bane Ling micro from both players I don't think there was really a loser in this game both players played phenomenally but game time making that transition just a little bit sooner Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. If you are a first-time viewer, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you like what we are doing here today and want to help us build to a better tomorrow, please smash that Patreon button. Until next time, guys, I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. Shadowlate, my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.